Tonight, a special two-hour dramatic presentation. His was the finest mind of the age, the father of modern biology, author of the most influential theory in the history of science. Nature selection, natural selection. Have you the proofs of this? Yes. But in the summer of 1858, Charles Darwin faced his darkest hour. Charles, what is that? 20 years of work and I've, I've been beaten to the post. It's a man called Wallace. His theory and my own are identical. He even employs phrases that I myself have used in my book, the, the struggle for existence, for example. For 20 years, he has suppressed his greatest work, wary of public reaction, of scientific scrutiny, of religious differences with his wife, Emma. I think I may have found the answer to the mystery of mysteries. And if I'm right, then the God that Lyle believes in so profoundly is dead. And what of the God that I believe in? Now, in the midst of personal tragedy. It is scarlet fever. Oh, I'm so desperately worried. What with Etty so sick and now the baby, I think it may prove too much for Charles. On the verge of professional triumph. Millions of small changes of the same kind over millions of years. The danger in what you say is that it undermines the truth of scripture. It's an axe to the root of the faith by which men lead their lives and which sustains our whole society. Darwin must make a critical decision. And the world's most controversial scientific theory hangs in the balance. I think you must publish. You'd be sorry to see me an object of hatred. You must think very carefully. Darwin's darkest hour. Right now, on this Nova National Geographic special movie presentation.